Hi, my name is Grace Kemp from www.scriptureseries.com. Anyone who is familiar at all with Bible prophecy is aware of the Olivet Discourse. That's a fancy term for the fact that Jesus took some disciples to the Mount of Olives and told them 70 clues or 70 things that will occur before his second coming in power and great glory. And among those clues is an interesting one that puzzled me for a long time. In Mark 13, I think it's 8, it says that uh, the, the believers, Mark 13, 9, uh, that the believers of the tribulation, uh, the Jewish believers will be brought before the council and beaten. It's going to be extremely tough on converts of the tribulation period. Now that's all well and good, but the fact is the council, which is the same Greek word as the Sanhedrin, has been obsolete and dead for 1600 years. Now the Sanhedrin came to life in originally 56 BC, but in 425 AD it died out in the city of Tiberias in Galilee. And during the time of Christ, it consisted of 71 sages or wise Jewish counselors, and rabbis, and scholars who were basically the judges. Uh, they gave the disciples of Christ a very hard time. In fact, they were the ones that approved the crucifixion of Christ. They died out, and yet they seemed to appear in the tribulation. But where were they? To my great surprise, picking up a paper uh, in October of 2003, uh, 2004 rather, uh, that the Sanhedrin had come back to life in the very city where it died in Tiberias, Israel. Uh, today they consist of 71 uh, brilliant scholars, many rabbis, very orthodox, they're called princes, and when I looked at their agenda I was floored because their agenda matches Bible prophecy to a T. For example, the first thing on their agenda is to rebuild the Jewish temple on the Temple Mount. And that is prophesied. That will happen prior to the rapture. Uh, Revelation 11, 1 and 2 indicates that the temple is up. They want to establish animal sacrifices. Well, of course, that is coming back in the tribulation too. The covenant that is signed in Daniel 9, 27 is in connection with permission to offer Jewish sacrifices in the newly built temple. And then they wanted to return the old Jewish calendar. Well, sure enough, in the tribulation, it is an effect. The tribulation consists of 360 days in a year. It isn't the Gregorian calendar we have today. They also wanted to return all the Jews to Israel. Well, Jews are making Aliyah at phenomenal rates. Uh, today is their 60th anniversary of being a nation. And this past year has seen a greater influx of Jews into the land of Israel than any other year. They also want to restore the kingdom to David. Uh, interestingly enough, just a matter of, of weeks ago, they opened a genealogical museum in the, in the heart of the old city, downtown Jerusalem, in which they have at least 3,000 candidates who can prove their ancestry traces back to King David. The Sanhedrin would like to appoint, eventually, a king of the Jews, uh, but he will have to come from the long line of David, and they have candidates that have proven credentials. Now when they nominate or, or appoint or crown their king of the Jews, he will also be the Messiah, because the Messiah will be king of Israel. Uh, not, the, not the real Messiah. He'll be the false Messiah, known as the false prophet. And so the, the stage is set for him to rise. And they want to restore uh, Old Testament laws and practices. Um, Jesus said of the Jews that are converted at the midpoint, and are fleeing for their lives to, to what I believe will be Petra, down in Jordan, it says, pray that your flight be not on the Sabbath. Why? Because if they restore the Sabbath laws, uh, which forbids traveling more than 3,000 feet, uh, they would not be able to escape. They'd get as far as the Mount of Olives, that would be it. So the Lord says, pray that your flight be not on the Sabbath, uh, because apparently those laws will be restored. And so all of these indicate the, the rise of the Sanhedrin, who's ever increasing in their, in their uh, outreach in Israel and their influence. Um, they are all set and ready to go. And they've joined up with the new Jewish council, uh, who wants to restore uh, everything that Sanhedrin does. 
we are seeing, we are in the last days when we can see these very things. Uh, the Jewish man that will arise will be the Antichrist who will link up with the uh, man that's going to rise in Europe. And so the coming of the Lord draweth not. Just another indication that the rapture of the saints will take place soon and Jesus will return. The question is, are you ready?